Hello and welcome back to the small step tutorial on how to set up your Minecraft server. Now we've set up Java and we've set up our server and I explained what the files were in the previous videos. So now it's time for us to start our server and to try to connect to it. First things first, so let's go back into our Minecraft server folder. And what we're going to do is basically you just have to click on this uh, on this file. Now this is here's the thing: if you only have a small, if you expect to have a small server with maybe like five, maximum ten people, just clicking on this is fine. If you are expecting a bigger server with like let's just say twenty to thirty to even like a hundred people, like a, a, a really big class, for example, then you may want to uh, skip through this video to the um, to the last part of this video where I actually go I'm going to explain how to um, run this more efficiently using more RAM because you'll need to do that otherwise your server will be super super slow. So all right, so our server is running. So now start your Minecraft. Mine's already started, and basically you just go to multiplayer. And you can either direct connect or you can add servers. So I'm going to, uh, just for fun, I'm going to add a new server and let's just call it my server. And this is where you enter your address. Now this is your IP address, so you actually have to find out where your IP address is. If you have a router, you probably have a slightly different address uh, from what you have on the internet. So um, you can try this. This is a step number one you can try. Go into Google and type what is my IP what is my IP oh crap what is my IP and it's going to give you IP address right here try this first and if this doesn't work um, oh yeah and by the way don't forget that uh, we also need to use um, a port which is if you go to the server file that we opened in the previous video 25565 is your port address unless you changed it so what you do is go back to Minecraft and enter your IP address here. So I'm just going to use my own IP address uh, and your port, which is 25565. This should be enough. Uh, if your IP doesn't work, if it says no IP exists, then you probably have a different IP through a router. So for that, um, we're going to use command prompt again. So remember, this was window button plus R to open run. And then you have to do CMD command prompt. And what you do here is now you have to type something else. You're going to type ipconfig slash all. And this will show you all of your IP addresses for all your different adapters that you have. But you only need one from here. You have to scroll up until you see the one that says IPv4 address. IPv4 address. And that's your main IP address for your main adapter. And mine is right here, so I can actually use this as well. But uh, for the purposes of making this a little bit easier for myself, I'm not going to do this. Uh, so this is uh, the address that you have to um, write down. So there's going to be four numbers separated by uh, the dot. And so write it down and put it into your Minecraft right here. And then followed by column, your port address, which should be 25565. So this is my server. I'm going to click done. My server has 20 users. Welcome to my server. That's my introduction message that if you remember, I entered it right here, a uh, message of the day at, on the bottom. Welcome to my server. And so now all I need to do is connect to it. So join server, click on it. And I'm actually in the server right now. So um, if you if you actually had your server set up as whitelisted server, which I actually did, my server is set to whitelisted, um, you may get a message saying, uh oh, you're not allowed on the server, it's whitelisted. So what you have to do then is that you have to add yourself to a whitelist by uh, going to this white window and typing whitelist add username. So I actually already added myself. So I'm right here, I'm on my whitelisted, this is my username and this is my uh, UID. And so the game already added me. I can actually remove myself so I can um, whitelist remove myself using whitelist remove and, and tracks on and what will happen is if I try to disconnect and re-log to this server it will actually not allow me oops it will actually not allow me to rejoin it will say you're not whitelisted so this is actually a very good, cool feature to use for servers that you want to uh, keep private like for your friends for your class um, for a small class that you're running or if you have a very private server with your friends uh, so let me re-add myself and so now I'm logged in on my uh, default um, world, and this is basically what it looks like. So it works just fine. And there's 20 users allowed here, so 20 users can connect to the server. 
And don't forget that for a server to run, uh, run really well, you have to keep this open at all times because if you close this window, look what happens if I close it. Basically, um, it, the server will close and the game will drop for me. So the server closed and connection was lost. So make sure to run the white window. So this is best to run on a separate computer, separate from the one where you're playing the game because it is quite RAM intensive. Now, in the next step, or right now, I'm actually going to explain to you how to run your server more efficiently using a specific command that will uh, let you use even more RAM, especially if you're planning to run a bigger server, like for example, 100 users or even 200 users. Now, in order for you to actually allocate more RAM to run the game, uh, to run the server, this is what you need to do. So, we're going to create a new file, uh, and this has to be a text file, so create a new text file, text document, and let's just call it my server. And uh, open this, and with your notepad, and also, um, okay, yeah. So open this with your notepad and then copy paste what I posted in the description below. And this is a pathway that basically um, you will need to enter in order for you to run this game more efficiently. So I'll explain to you, uh, this right here starts Java. This tells it how much RAM to use. And this is where you put your Minecraft server. So mine is in C, Minecraft server, Minecraft server.0.179 uh, executable. This will, you'll have to change to your location of the Minecraft server file. And this is where you change how much RAM to use. So for example, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I may want to use a little bit more. Uh, let's just say I want to use minimum two gigabytes and then maximum four in order for me to have a more efficient server for like, let's just say 200 people. Uh, so what I'll do here, oh, and this has to be in multiples of 1024. So you'll have to use a calculator. Uh, so let's just say we're going to use two gigabytes minimum. So that's two times 1024. 248 and maximum 4 gigabytes, so that's 4 times 1024, uh, 496. So this I'll change to 248 and this I'll change to 496. So that means that now the game will use minimum 2 gigabytes and maximum 4 gigabytes of my RAM. Now I need to save this file, but don't just save it, save it as, and what you need to do is you need to save it as a bad file. So change this to all files my server dot bat bat is a executable file that will actually initiate these commands for us when uh, so instead of just starting the file it will start the file with those specific commands you can also just erase the text file now because you don't really need it anymore but by default you can actually just keep it as this as well so just 1024 1024 and this will give you one gigabyte of ram which is actually quite a lot um, so now when i start my server it will create the same thing and we'll actually have this box open as well. So you may want to keep both of these open. And my server is now a lot more efficient, a lot faster. And so now when I connect to it in the game, I can play and um, with a lot more people and the game will actually play a lot faster as well. Oh no, I'm being attacked by zombie. Oh no, oh no, and I'm dead. All right, so I just logged in and already died. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, quit this game. So basically that's it for yeah. setting up your server and running it. Now in the next video, I'm going to talk more about specific commands you can use as a, both as an op and as an admin. And some commands you may want to know like banning and um, giving people different flags. And at the same time, I'm going to also show you how to transfer your single player world into the multiplayer wor world so that you can actually use what you've already created in the creative mode in the multiplayer environment. All right, well, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel, check out some of the other Minecraft videos, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.